Oh, Gwen, move your butt and get in here. What's this thing even this? You rang, Teresa? Gwen! I've been ringing. I, you know, well, maybe you just didn't hear me. Uh, I was making that tea that you asked for? Yes. Do you know what? Um, you can forget the tea. Because I'm suddenly having this huge craving for Hawaiian pizza with double anchovies, so... Jeez, isn't that going to give you heartburn this time of night? Oh, Gwen, it's not for me. It's for the babies. You know that. Okay, I'll order you the pizza. Okay. Oh, can you put a rush on that? Because, you know, this craving's really strong. Of course. <laughs> oh, Gwen, the tea. Can you bring up the tea and the cake, too, please, just in case Whitney comes back? No problem. Oh, this isn't too much trouble, is it, Gwen? Well, not at all, Teresa. Why would you even ask? It just makes me so happy to bring you whatever you need. Oh. Look, like I said, I want you to be well taken care of during your pregnancy. And as long as you're carrying Ethan's and my babies, you're going to be as comfortable as possible. Be right back. Okay. <sighs> well, actually, these aren't your babies with Ethan, Gwen. They're mine with Ethan. And there's no way in hell I'm ever going to hand them over to you. What does the little tramp want this time? A Hawaiian pizza with double anchovies. Uh, you don't think her working class tastes are going to pass on to the babies, do you? You know, no one needs this much pampering. Hmm. No, there is definitely something fishy going on here, and it's not the anchovies. Now, Teresita is up to something. But I'm going to stop her. And she is in for the shock of her life. <laughs> okay, Mother, what's your plan? These. Once Teresa signs these papers that my lawyer Binky drew up, she is going to give up any and all claims to those twins forever. We've been through this already. I am not going to risk upsetting Teresa and jeopardizing the health of the twins. Gwen, would you please stop wrinkling your brow? I am far too young to have a daughter who needs Botox. I'm not going to take a chance on my baby's lives. Huh? Well, you don't have to. I have it all figured out. I know I shouldn't even ask, but how? Oh, it's very simple. We're going to get Teresa to sign these without realizing that that's what she's signing. Mother Teresa is a lot of things, but she's not an idiot. She's not just going to sign this because we ask her to without knowing what it is. Of course not. That is why we are going to tell her what this is. Sort of. Okay, what are you talking about? All right. Do you recall what Ethan is bringing back here tonight? Not really. Mm, I'll give you a hint. They are legal documents. Yeah, the financial papers regarding the birth of the twins, yeah. Mm-hmm. And Teresa is expecting to sign them. Okay, so? So simple. We just sneak these papers in with those papers. And then Teresa is going to sign them without realizing that she is actually signing over the twins to you and Ethan. I guess that could work. No, it will work. Look, and once these babies are born and Teresa pulls what I know she's going to try to do, which is to keep those babies for herself, she is going to be in for the shock of her life. Because these papers are going to guarantee that you and Ethan get the twins and little Ethan. And Teresa is going to get exactly what she deserves. Nothing. I don't like the idea of not telling Ethan what's going on. Look, the fewer the people know, the better. He's my husband, okay? Gwen, you still have so much to learn about marriage. Now, and besides, Ethan is far too honest. He'd never trick Teresa like this. I'd like to think that I'm honest, too. Regrettably, you are. I really don't know where I went wrong. Look, Gwen, look, you have to fight fire with fire. I don't know about this, okay? Okay, fine. I have one question to ask you. Do you want these babies or not? Of course I do. You know that those babies are the most important thing in the world to me. Well, then you have to let the claws out to protect them. 
Yeah, you're like a mother lion trying to protect her, her cubs from some predator, because that's exactly what Teresa is, a predator who is out to steal your cubs. Okay, so let's just say that you're wrong, that this whole thing is just a figment of your imagination, and she's not planning anything. <laughs> this is Teresa we are talking about? Of course she's up to something. Look, look, if she wasn't, why would she tie up the surrogate and have herself implanted with your embryos in the first because place? Because she wanted to get little Ethan back, Mother. She said she'd give us the babies if we give her little Ethan back. Yeah, and if you believe that, I have a bridge in Brooklyn I would just love to sell you. Come on. <sighs> Gwen, Teresa is up to something. She has been from the beginning. But she's not going to get away with it because this time... <laughs> No, this time, we are going to stop her. Your surprise is our best weapon against Teresa, and telling Ethan could ruin that. Mother, he's gonna find out eventually, and when he does, he's not gonna be happy. Oh, he's gonna be happy. He still has children. Mother, we don't even know if Teresa's up to anything. Well, how many times do... <sighs> fine, fine. Okay, okay. Let's just say, for argument's sake, that Teresa is not up to anything, okay? That she's going to stick to her word and that she's just going to joyfully hand over these twins to you once they're born. That all she ever wanted was for you to experience the joy of motherhood and to make sure she got little Ethan. Well, then we will never need to use this document. And neither she nor Ethan will ever know that we tricked Teresa into signing it. But if I'm right and she is up to something, then your husband is going to be oh so happy that his wife was smart enough to take out an insurance policy. Fine. Okay, but only if we really need to. But, of course. But you mark my word. <laughs> you are really going to need this. Need what? 